Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do internet recovery on your Mac. So we've all been there when our Mac is going really, really slow, that or we've ruined it or wrecked it in some sort of other way and we want to set it to its factory default settings and we don't have a USB stick handy, we don't have the original discs that come with it, in fact there were no discs with it, so how can we do this? Well Apple in their kindest wisdom put into most Macs a way to restore it to its factory default setting and all you need is an internet connection. And what we do is we do something called internet recovery. So I'm going to show you how to do this on this MacBook Air right after this. So if you want to hear the latest on tech reviews, refurbs and top fives, don't forget to press subscribe and press that bell at the same time. So here we have it. Here's my 2015 MacBook Air 13 inch model. It's a kind of a standard spec with eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte hard drive, dual core processor, yada yada yada. Now the reason why I'm on this desktop to begin with is that you guys need to make sure you are connected to some sort of internet. Um, I don't care what internet you're connected to, if it's your home, your neighbours, whoever's, as long as it's good enough and you've got a good enough signal, it will be absolutely fine for this. So what we want to do is we want to shut down your Mac or our Mac we've got here, the MacBook Air. I'm going to shut that down. Whoa, 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 Mac. You forgot to back up your data. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Well, I can't make it in this video. Could you make another video for it? Okay, I will make another video. So you guys check out that video after you've watched this one and it's on my channel. Matt, it's back to you. Like I said, this will work for most Macs, iMacs, Mac for Airs, Mac Minis. Yada yada yada, it's a Mac and it's been built, I would say, anything from about 2010 onwards. It should work this idea of using the internet recovery. Once we've completely shut down, what we want to do is on your keyboard, we want to hold down the Alt or Option button, depending on where you are in the world. In the UK here, we have it as Alt. I know in America, it's definitely Option. So you want to hold down Alt, Command, R and turn on. Obviously, you need to turn it on first of all, so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to jump straight to those keys. Alt, Command, R, and hold it down. And voila, starting internet recovery. It was as easy as that, just those three keys. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this video um, speed up a little bit because this bit takes a bit of time to connect to it. So depending on your internet connection, depends on how fast this works. If it does look like it's frozen, don't worry about it. Sometimes this can take an hour, sometimes this can take about two minutes, depending on your Mac and also the speed of your internet. So I'll join you guys in one mo. Now for the people who just got a little bit scared when they just saw the Apple logo appear after the internet recovery piece had finished, that is completely normal. The MacBook didn't restart, it's just part of the process. So if you see that, don't think your Mac is restarting, you've got to stop everything. It is perfectly normal. Right then, here we are, we're at the recovery window if you've ever been on it before. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in a little bit in for you guys to show you exactly what you need to do next. Because mainly all you need to see is the screen. You do not need to see my lovely handiwork on the keyboard. So the first thing we want to make sure is that we have an internet connection. And up here, you should do, you should be connected to your Wi-Fi. If not, please do connect to it. Um, if you're not connected to it, I have no idea how you got onto the screen because it's managed to boot off the internet. So mystery if you're not connected to the internet up there. Right, next of all, what you want to do is you want to go to disk utility first and you want to click continue. Now, what we want to do is remember this only shows us our volumes. Always click on the view button up here where my mouse is and we want to change it to show all devices. This now splits out everything. So what you can see here, we have 
the Apple disk image. What is this right here? The internet recovery is running off an image. Um, and we've also got the SSD right here. And these are all of my partition containers inside it. So as you can see here, I've got a boot camp. I want to keep that for now and I want to delete that. But what I do want to get rid of is I want to get rid of this container here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click Erase on that container. So these should have all your Mac OS's ones in it. If it has your boot camp in it, um, then you will lose it. I will say that. And um, you should set up your boot camp to become of its own partition of the actual hard drive. If you want me to make a video about that, actually, do let me know in the comments below, because I'd be more than willing to show you guys how to do that. So first of all, you want to click on the container. And you want to click Erase and we're going to make it APFS and we're going to keep it as Mac OS. APF is the new format we use. You, couldn't, you can still use, funny enough, the Mac OS extended journaled one down here, but it's better to use APFS. We click erase. That's going to take a second or two to get rid of all of that. So goodbye, your old Mac OS. Right, it is now done. We're going to click done. And what we're going to do is we're just going to close this out. And as you can see here, we have container two in Mac OS. It's remade it, it's come underneath it, but it's a brand new container. So I'm going to click on the cross there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to click on reinstall Mac OS. Click continue. And we're going to click continue again. Now I'd recommend if you're on a MacBook, to have your charger plugged in at this stage. If you're on an iMac, I recommend uh, you don't get a power cut at this stage. It will take a bit longer than running off a USB stick because we're going connecting to the internet to get our information. So once you're on this page, you're going to click agree. We agree. Click next. And voila, giving us the choice of where to install to. So it should say Mac OS now. There's my old boot camp. We can't install to that because it's a Windows partition. So I'm going to click on the Mac OS and I'm going to click install. It says here, my power, here we go. My computer's not connected to a power source. Do I want to continue? I know my battery is good. So I'm going to click continue. Remember guys, I would highly recommend uh, plugging in your power supply. Don't do what I just did. Really bad advice, run it off the battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run. Um, the MacBook will restart. Nothing to worry about when it does those restarts. You don't have to touch anything. You don't have to press anything. And when it comes up to the main new screen to start entering in our new details and accepting terms and conditions, I will see you then. But for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video run and let it fast forwards for you. And here we are we're on the welcome page. So we're going to select the country we live in. I live in the UK. So I've selected that. We're going to also put in my password. Now, why is I put in this password? Please, can you hold? All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. The estimated hold time is currently less than 96 minutes. Thanks for holding. I'm just going to continue now. I'm just going to accept the data and privacy. Now, other Matt just reminded us a bit ago that we needed to do a backup. Now, if we were going to do a backup from a time machine, we would select from a Mac, time machine, backup or startup disk, and we'd select this option. As I'm not going to put a backup back onto this machine, I'm just going to do a clean one. I'm going to say, don't transfer any information now. But it does say we can transfer the information later using the migration assistant. So I'm going to click continue. I'm not going to set up my Apple ID for the moment. So I'm going to say set up later. And I'm just going to skip this for now. Got some lovely terms and conditions. We're going to agree to them and agree to them. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this in. I'm going to put my name in. And we're going to put a password in. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Because of course that's the password they use all the time. Not. So we hit continue. Now it might take a minute or so to create this account, depending how fast your Mac is. We do express setup. We're going to click continue. Uh, I don't want to send any crash reports today. I get enough of my crash reports. In fact, that's why we wipe this back. 
the, the crash report. They've not come back to us to tell us how to fix it, so skip it. I'm going to set up screen time later. And I don't want Siri today. But we can always turn her back on later, or him later, depending on your preferences. So we're going to click continue. And I'm going to have the auto look, because we're on Catalina right now. And our Mac should now be setting up. And there we are, we're back onto the desktop. Oh, it's getting its timing right with the auto feature. So I'm just going to go to the about up here, about this Mac. Just to show you guys, there we go. We're on the 13 inch, early 2015 model, same model again. And that is how we freshly install Mac OS onto this machine. Now, other Matt, who distracted us earlier, said that we can put our data back onto this machine. Um, what we take from our backup. How we do this is we can go to the search icon at the top here, and if we type in the Migration Assistant, and we select that, we can then follow these steps and how to do that. But remember, that will be in the other media video. So I'm just going to click that, and there we go. The MacBook Air is now set up, and your MacBook should also now be set up. Well guys, it is as easy as that to do internet recovery on your Mac. But remember guys, to also put your backup data back onto your Mac. And remember to check out my other video for that. Well guys, it's time to wrap this up. So if you have enjoyed this video, please do press the like button down below. I do really, really appreciate that. Also, please do subscribe to my channel. I love making these guides for you guys and how to make things easier in your life. And also do um, press that bell button as well when you do subscribe. Until next time, guys, see you soon. Bye.